Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Omen Side. So, last time we accompanied Ludimir a couple of times, I guess, extensively, rechecking his path and finding pretty much everything there is to find, I'm pretty sure. And despite the game telling me that there is nothing new to find uh, with Draga or Indrik, no new clues at least, I'm pretty sure that we should be able to open a couple more purple seals now that we can do that. So that's why we're now we will hit with them Draga like again. Storm. Okay, yeah, we start here after we, we're still forced to show her the second omen site. No way around that. But I guess we always would have come General. here. Cyprus. You cannot open seals in combat, right? Yeah, no. Not a thing. It would be funny if we could just unlock the war machine and, you know. <laughs> Surprise her quite a bit, I suppose. Can you guys deal with the last enemy? We are not done yet. Well then do it. Come on. Oh wait, you did do it. No, okay, there's no chance. Cutscene starts General, immediately. <laughs> please gather this. I figured as much. Red flare to mark her position. Dismissed. So where's the first do I remember where the first purple seal is going to be? We're going to be riding the war machine. Do we actually... I don't know now. I, I'm so... There have been so many different iterations of, of these various sequences at this point that I really don't know. Is there actually something here? No, there wouldn't be, right? Um, I mean, at the end of this, when we... very The very first time we, we ride it... Right, right. Oh my god. We wrote this thing. <laughs> there was the... You know, it was stopped with uh, explosives at the very end. And there would have been a chance to stop it, I'm pretty sure. They will not expect this. But then... Oh, I guess there weren't any enemies spawning here. Definitely not shadow enemies, were there? Last time I did this with her. We also wrote this once with Indrik, of course, which stopped at different points. I think it stopped here, and we actually, at one point, we were able to disembark here and check out the the sides. Not there, not that there was a whole lot to check out. I think. Yeah, I don't know. As I said, there there have been too many iterations now. I've really lost track. Oh wait, Something it's getting wrong. sabotaged. Right. When we come here after the Omen site. Because we're earlier than we would have been on the on the very first visit with her, this happens instead. Can I jump over? Soldiers, no? I need those repairs done now. Smoke is not exactly helping with seeing the enemy attacks happening here, but. It's fine, I guess. Maybe. Huh? Oh. Blocking, that's right. The repairs are done! Okay, so we cannot actually get off the thing here, so I'm not opening that orange door, huh? Well, we've been past that at one point. I guess with Indrik. The bridge was repaired but yeah. helped restore Rodentia. It is quite a marvel of engineering. And I believe last time we were we were here with um, Draga on this particular there, timeline or whatever. And make her answer for Vera's murder. We uh, did not get a chance to stop the explosives from happening. In now fact, we maybe we didn't need to? I don't know. Swift and clean. Yeah, it's gonna start smoking again, but ultimately it's, it gets repaired and we... No, I don't know. I guess we would never be able to ride the thing all the way through the main gate, right? It's just not... It wouldn't fit in the first place, so... Yeah, and here they don't even bother to blow it up because it's already burning, I guess. Makes sense. It's out of here. What? Wait. 
No. No, can I abort? No. I had three energy circles. <laughs> Briefly, but... The fight oh well. Is not over. Just taking a quick break, eating a few apples, as you do. Blows that up. The Rodentians knew we were coming. As I suspected, we have a spy in our midst. But who? And why are they playing both sides? Let's why move. indeed? Rodentia is up I mean, really, why? Are the, the people summoning Vodin not aware that the world's just going to get destroyed? Are they actually getting spared somehow from the universal destruction that's happening? Have they been deceived? Like, you know, as is so often the case. Thinking that they would somehow be rewarded for their loyalty, but instead they just get... They just get destroyed like everyone else. That's probably what it is, right? I don't know. Doors or split paths so far. I mean, I remember. I remember one purple door specifically that should be here. Your combat skills. No wait, no wait, not not here. I mean, there, there still might be. We will set up position and one here is definitely. If she surrenders, um, please in the temple stay area. Your hand. I have much to ask her. We can't flail in the But dark. I don't remember if we're we need going answers. there during the storyline. Or what's happening Gunner now? Is at the ready. ready. Uh yeah. Ambergans. Oh. Okay, she's here. No! And we're fighting the non corrupted version of her? Well, okay. Not immediately, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, we're still here. It's nighttime now. It's burning everything. The stranglehold is in place. Soon we will catch her. But I guess this is where we end up fighting her. Somehow stronger, non-powered up form. Oh. Somehow I didn't think that Red was attacking me, but of course it would. Uh, okay, knock that guy off. That works, I suppose. Huh? Huh? What? Stop it. No. Oh god, I'm just terrible. What the hell are we fighting? Stop blocking. Okay, because we're not off the ledge again, actually. Not really working out for them. Oh, and here she is. That was a much shorter chase than I, I thought or remembered. <clears throat> I should probably also have been skipping this whole episode. I thought we were going to run into something more interesting, something different much sooner, <laughs> but, um, hmm. I, don't wanna kill you. I guess I'll include the rest of the fight now, or, well, the fight, I guess. Since we already started it, but, um, yeah, if, I don't know, nothing interesting seems to happen immediately afterward, oh my god, or if I can, if I can't even defeat her, my god, okay, can, can you... Give me a break, real quick. Thanks for actually allowing me to dodge. Jesus. <sighs> okay, at least there is some healing here. That's uh, much needed, apparently. Uh, 
What? Camera? What? Oh. Right, she's doing that again, whatever. Summoning more troops, but immediately returning actually to garage me with uh, projectiles. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Just two more hits or so. Wow, that was ugly. <clears throat> Bring Radica back to camp. Attack but I guess at this point moves. I've uh, invested in enough upgrades I that I can't play horribly even and still win somehow. So that's nice. Is okay, so we way? capture her yeah, and bring her back here. But wait, is this actually where it all ends, if though? Is not to your it, it is, isn't it? So we didn't actually get a chance to open any I seals at all. Point, but no. I could write you a if okay, you so Vera, yes, that was actually a complete so waste. Vera, the game was right. There was nothing new to learn here. You know, but surely on Indrix... You can't have. Unbelievable. Like, at, at one point... When you see Ludum, what makes yeah, you this is just a, okay. What do you mean? No decisions to make here. Huh. At some point... When we go toward the secret vault uh, in the temple area, there is that one purple door off to the side. When when there's some platforming, it's like off to the left side from the main entrance. Um, yeah, I don't know if you if you know what I'm referring to, but but I do. So, well, okay, I don't know. Maybe we maybe we're actually forced to advance the story at this point, which is you know fair. Because there might still be more to do. The same it, choices will yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm not trying results. to make progress, lady. Just leave me alone. Um, yeah, no, we do want to do this. I might be able to buy something with what I so earned, but honestly, I didn't even make that much amber or experience. So... Yeah, we'll see. I guess I'll play through this path again until something happens. Let me just quickly see how this even starts. Okay, it's here. Right, he's powering up. Uh, Ludimir has not been here? Wait. I guess not. Yeah, we show him that. Interrupting the ritual? You are the harbinger. Your coming means that something terrible. Bowden, do you know yes. our history? How Yar and the blessed sword Cladden shall lest it crumble. And Vera and Ratica. They seek to use the void as a weapon to win the war. Ratica would rule a dead world. And she well, as we now know, that's not true. And when we Okay, right, we're going to confront her. Um, wait, that's bad. So we left the temple. Okay, I don't know then. Maybe, maybe we'll get a chance to go to the, the exact place I'm thinking of when we go and confront Retica yet again. Or maybe not, I don't know. But as I was going to say, so if since there is apparently still a third omen site to find, obviously what we do with omen sites is show it to all the characters and see how they react and what that changes. So I guess that should suggest that we're maybe going to unlock that one and not actually finish the game quite yet. And um, then we'll have a chance to show each character that final omen site and get yet another version of their story. And hopefully one of those is going to somehow lead us to the remaining areas that I haven't had uh, access to or, you know, that I haven't been able to to open yet. Um, right. Retention. Because for now we're back at the prison. A day and chaos ensues. I'm breaking in. Yeah, okay, so there might still be something to do here. I'll uh, just pause recording and, you know, 
Report back whenever anything interesting happens. If anything interesting happens. Okay, well, here's something. I think I probably haven't been past this one. I guess I couldn't have. Couldn't have been, so... Good. <laughs> I was really getting a little bit afraid that there might not be anything new to do here. Vera escapes to the city of Eka. And a few hours later, Rata gets captured in the same city. I should have made the connection. Okay, so this is definitely new. So there's a memory here. Oh, there are also enemies. <clears throat> enemies, including the invisible ones. But the Emperor is dealing with those just fine. Doesn't really need my help. Hey, um. Well, maybe he does. Oh. Well, he wasn't dealing with the enemy right in front of him. Uh, we can just jump up here, right? Of course we can. Oh. <laughs> um. Um, I didn't mean to stand on top of that. It's kind of hard to see where on the platform I am, but... <laughs> Thankfully I didn't fall. Um, that would be Indrik's memory, right? Sure looks like it. Wait, yeah. Okay, I guess we only have the first one. Hive mind. Right, so we only ever learned about how he was taken from his family to become the new emperor. Hive mind. Footfalls made Indrik blink and glance about his solitary room. His instinct tells him to hide the cherished treasure, but his fondness for the gift overpowers it. At any given second, his patrician could fly through the door and demand it from Indrik. Locrin is strict in every sense of the word, but this gift, this ant farm sent by his parents in secret, is a treasure from childhood. Indrik lines his hand along the glass, tracing the worker ant's path. Even as a young boy, Indrik had been fascinated with nature on a surprisingly small and minuscule scale. He was at it again now, but this time his awe had to be kept secret. The hour hits twilight, but still Indrik observes the colony, notating his findings by scrawling comparisons on bits of parchment. Exhaustion looms. Swiftly and without warning, Indrik falls asleep, and the ant farm remains out in the open, in danger of discovery. Sometime later, Indrik's groggy eyes open, and the patrician is there, wrath billowing in the senior's face. In one fluid motion, Locrin snatches the colony and throws it. Glass hits stone and shattered pieces litter the ground. Standing opposite Indrik, the patrician pauses, motionless, expressionless, unnaturally calm. The intrigue that Indrik once held for Locrin's control and discipline eviscerates as he sees the ants skitter across the floor. Something fractures within Indrik. A realization that takes hold. A realization takes hold. Indrik will not be like his insect friends. He will not run or hide. Instead, he will become like Locrin. He will become a predator. Oh, okay. Not c quite where I expected that to go. Also, not really what happened, is it? I mean, he's seen... Indrik is always described as being... Like, I don't know. I mean, not cruel, I would say, but uh, like... Maybe efficient. Seemingly cold, but ultimately working for the the greater good or something, I don't know. I mean, clearly he was made out to be the bad guy initially, but then that clearly became... clearly became... it, it soon became clear that that was not the case. Anyway, <clears throat> so... Uh, there was that to find, and I guess this is just gonna reconnect, yeah. To where exactly... Um... Oh, here, okay. You jump down here, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Normally you just jump down that ledge. Right. Okay, there's that. He's just gonna blow that up. Uh, I guess I can already see a, a green seal behind that, but we probably opened that at one point. Or did we? Actually, maybe I'm just seeing things. Enough In fact, what is games. up this way? Is that just to access flamethrowers? Yeah. I might never never have done this before, actually. There was, in fact, a uh, an opportunity behind a... Was it also? It might have been a green seal. I'm not sure. Green or yellow, I suppose. Definitely not purple. Earlier on, that uh, where... As the fight actually was starting, I was still able to open it, and it gave me access to a to a raised ledge like that with uh, with a switch where I was able to actually use the flamethrowers 
against uh, enemies in the room. So, yeah. I guess in some situations they actually do allow you to um, interact with with seals even as enemies are already present. Maybe only while I'm not actively in combat yet or something? I don't know. Maybe you have to be quick. That it? Yeah. Okay, anything on the other side? Or... Well, we would have been up there at one point during another route. Yeah, but no. Actually, I'm not sure. Can we make this topple? Expecting something. <laughs> yeah, we cannot tell him to, to do anything. We don't have a special attack with him. But we still don't have anything that would allow us to just break pillars, right? <laughs> don't have any special attacks like that. Unless... Oh! We totally do, it turns out. Destructive impulses. Interesting. So that was just uh, the Phantom Dash or whatever? So what does this open? That just opens that. Oh, that, this would have originally been a, a way to bypass the barricade, but we don't need that here at all. It's interesting that the game allows me to do that. Not useful, but interesting. We could also definitely use some healing. Okay, thanks for that, Some at least. I will unmask whoever keeps writing on this wall. Half my soldiers have believed the prison to be haunted. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take one quick look past the store to, just to see what section is coming up next. But if... If I don't see... Okay, we can blow up this. There's... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just going to pause again, and hopefully there's going to be something more to discover here. If not, then we'll resume... Well, I guess we'll visit Retica, probably? We'll see. Maybe there's a little bit more to do here. Okay, so we actually ended up uh, at, well, the confrontation with Retica again. And I'll just, uh, I just want to see what happens if you don't do anything, because there is a timer. Maybe I'm just going to game over, I guess. Because what else would it do? Hmm. You're wasting time. Harbinger, please lend a hand. Yes, Harbinger. Good little pet. No, this is different. Wait, so that was a... Wait. Let's corner her, Harbinger. So we fight her properly? Interesting. Now I'm here, now I'm there. Hmm, could be a song Wait, no, we would have always... If I chose to attack her, we would have fought her, right? We would would not have just been an um, auto automatic victory. Would it? I don't know. I don't remember this happening. So maybe in all the various situations where we uh, had to choose between, um, you know, confronting them with a with an omen sight or just attacking, we could have just let the timer run out for a different outcome. Oh my god. If that's the case, then I might have missed a few things. Can we... Huh? I was trying to charge an attack and it wouldn't? I don't know, sometimes. Okay, that's actually just some of this. Nope, dodge that. Didn't touch that. It's fine. What? I swear I'm okay. No. We're winning. Come on, one more attack and there we go. Yeah, no, this is definitely what what usually happened. But we wasted more time this time, so would that make a difference? Because something in the vault. No doubt. Another Hmm. Yeah, it's probably not different, so it just defaults to the worse option then, I guess? the Like the one that doesn't lead you to progress? I don't remember which one was ultimately the correct one in this case. But we are moving on to the city of Eka. Where I guess... Wait, have we been there after getting the purple seal? Have we gone there with Lurimir? Yeah, actually, I think we, we have, so there might not be anything new. Unless we go down a different route and the air with Indrik? I don't think that we do necessarily, so... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna pause again and see if there is anything. If not... Actually, I might not... 
I might not uh, start Radica's path in this episode because I'm actually a little bit short on time. I was hoping to make some more meaningful progress, but at least we found something new. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit better about this whole thing. <laughs> about this whole session, but... Um, yeah, I mean... The thing is that Radica's next uh, mission seems to be a major turning point in the story, right? So I, I guess it's fair to assume that that's probably going to take a while. Probably going to lead us to a few new places, or at least new iterations of places. So, yeah, I don't want to risk, you know, stumbling into something major. We know we can open this, and that it, that is actually going to... There is a purple door past this, we ha but we have opened this one. But that was with Ludomir, so... Something slightly different might happen now. Let's see here. We ended up connecting back to the same main path. There's only one door leading out of this room down here, right? I think. We can see that from above. Right, we open this. There's this little door. Uh, this little door, this little room up here. Things are meant to be locked up. Oh, they know. Yeah, that's the room we just saw. But yeah, this literally just connects to the same room that the other one would have led to, so... Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, just creating the bridge. Right, so I guess in this case it didn't make any difference because we already had the memory that was to be found up there. Right, anyway, I guess, um, yeah, I'm gonna pause and uh, continue and see if there's anything new. There might not be, but we... If nothing else, we made a very decent amount of experience and Amber, so we should be able to get a few upgrades at the very least. And we got, found at least one memory, so, you know, um, I guess that's that was the minimum goal that I had set for myself. And uh, at least I reached that one. Okay, so all we got... Oh, we got the Explorer bonus for the first time that I noticed. Interesting. Huh. Maybe for finding all the paths in this particular... I don't know. <laughs> in this particular uh, timeline or, uh, you know. Huh. Anyway, so the whole thing just ended um, with... Indrik and the Harbinger reaching the vault, but finding no body there, no sword, no body, um, but the bloody piece of cloth that suggests that Vera was Vera's wound was treated and she might have survived what seemed like her, you know, her murder. But we knew that, of course. So nothing new there, but we also knew that. But we did make a lot of XP and money. Level up to 11. Perfect strike. Uh, time next attack... What? Time next attack the moment the previous attack hits to greatly increase energy gained by each attack and increase damage. Oh, no. Okay, so no more just button mashing. Well, I mean, I can still button mash, and I will. But theoretically, I can try to, to time it well and maybe get rewarded. We'll see, I guess. And we're probably not going to make it... Not even make it halfway to the next level. Yeah, that's fine though. Let's see. <clears throat> 18,000. Holy crap. Okay, so we definitely get more energy gained. We can actually. Can we get everything? No, I guess not. Not quite. Almost. Heavy attack damage, combo damage. Um, let's go heavy attack damage. I do tend to use that quite a bit. So, so close. But we might be unlocking more things, more blessings, I guess. As we level up more. Okay, anyway. Um, let me just quickly check. Right, so we're actually missing something here. But we might end up filling that in after, uh, you know, as we visit Radica next time. Vera reaches Lahaina, Lunamir finds her body. Right, but something happens in the sewers, I suppose. 
I guess we'll be returning there. Uh, what's interesting is that there is one gap in the green uh, key sequence, suggesting to me that there is a green seal that we haven't opened yet. But again, that since we are going with Retica, I guess maybe there is just a path in the sewers that we haven't seen yet, that we that we haven't had a chance to visit. Also, why are Vera and Draga flashing like that? What does that mean? And what is the... Why is there a red cursor like that, or, you know, reticle thing on, uh, well, Retica's portrait? Does that mean anything? Surely it must mean something, right? But it's not like the game bothers to tell you any of those things, any of those details. Yeah, so... Varus and Draga's portraits are flashing, the purple key is flashing. And there is this red... Yeah, icon on Radica's portrait. Weird. Okay, well, anyway, we'll see how many, if any, of those mysteries we can solve next time. Uh, but at the very least, it's safe to say that we're going to make some major progress. It's just, yeah, okay, I have to I have to stop this episode here. We didn't make a whole lot of progress, but I mostly brought myself up to speed after not having played for a little while, which is surprisingly really not, not, very, not very good for this game, because they're... It's just so much to, track, uh, to keep track of. <clears throat> oh boy. Anyway, um, yeah. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Please, which, not now. I'm doing my outro. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.